Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, my dear friends and dear students. How are you all? I wish you all are well by the great grace of Almighty Allah. At the very sunny winter morning, I welcome you all to the online class of St. Javier's High School, Kulna. St. Javier's High School is one of the best schools in Kulna City. And for last 40 years, they are contributing much for the development of the nation. They are producing best sons of the soil who are performing their responsibilities as a good citizen and discharging their service relentlessly for the betterment and welfare of the states. Dear students, you know that for the severe pandemic COVID-19, our regular classes is not possible. So the government has taken decision to take online classes so that with the assistance of this social media, each and every of your teachers can reach to your house through this online system. And sitting in your drawing room, sitting in your reading table, you can attend, you can join the classes of your teacher. And so I express my thanks and gratitude to Allah for giving me the chance to teach here and express my gratitude and thanks to the Government People's Republic of Bangladesh for arranging such a wonderful digital system. I also express my gratitude to Ministry of Education, Naim, Maushi, Local Education Office, respected Director Sir, DD Sir, DO Sir, TO Sir, our dearest Madam Mahabwa, Nasrin Kea, who always enchanted us with her glittering smile, dazzling beauty, and inspiration. I also express my heartiest thanks and our respects to the respected SMC, St. Javier's High School, Kurma, who are always trying to bring betterments and welfare for the institution. My respected head sir, who always guide us to take good classes, to be more necessary and helpful for the students, for the well-being of their bright future to build up their good career, to bring good results for the institution and for overall performance of our institution. I also express my thanks and gratitude to our dearest resident headmistress, madam, my dear colleagues and all my students. Today, I'm going to take your classes on English first paper. English first paper for class Eight. 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 Students, you know that in earlier days, earlier years, English was divided into two parts. English first paper for literature and English second paper for language. But in the recent syllabus, we have only one paper in English and within this paper, we have some grammatical words and some literary words. So we should do both the words together. Today, I'll take your classes about a particular topics, about a particular topics that is not very common to our country or in the world, but very uncommon, very rare. Dear students, can you tell where do we go for shopping? Where do we go for shopping? Where do we go for shopping? 
so that you can understand the text very easily and you can make some sentence from the words simultaneously we wish to discuss about some language so that you can make sentences easily dear students do you know what is the soul of an english sentence yes it is the structure of english sentence at first we need to learn some vocabs then we need to learn how to make sentences using the vocabs thirdly we have to make sentences following the structures based on the vocabs so at first we need to discuss what is a sentence dear students can anybody tell what is a sentence can anybody tell what is a sentence yes when a word or a group of words gives a complete sense and a clear meaning is called a sentence when a word when a word or a group of words give a complete sense Dear students, can you tell what is a sentence? Yes, when a word or a group of words, group of words gives a complete sense and a clear meaning is called a sentence. That is, it may be a word, I, a word, yes, no, a word, or a group of words, I eat rice, no, I do not go to market. These are a complete sentence and it has a clear meaning it has a full meaning but if the sentence is not full if the sense is not clear if the meaning is not clear it will not be a sentence it will be a senseless sentence that will be a nonsense so whenever we make a sentence we have to follow the structure of a sentence do you know how many kinds of sentence according to meaning there are five kinds of sentence according to meaning there are five kinds of sentence there are assertive sentence the sentence that express some statement or action is an assertive sentence the sentence that denotes a question that is an interrogative sentence who are you where are you going where have you come from the sentence that express order command request advice prohibition they are imperative sentence don't play in the sun don't run in the slippery road the sentence that express wish prayer or blessings is called optative sentence and the sentence that express sudden feelings of emotion or emotion of strong feelings the sentence that express sudden feeling of emotion or emotion of an ex- emotion of strong feeling is called an exclamatory sentence and according to structure sentence are of three kinds they are simple sentence the sentence which has only one subject only one finite verb and only one clause is a simple sentence the sentence which has two subject two finite verb two clause or all principal clause or more than one subordinate clause connected with the subordinate condition is a complex sentence the sentence that has two subject two finite verb two clause connected with two cor- connected with a coordinate condition the sentence consists of more than two principal clause connected with the coordinate conjunction is a compound sentence every sentence has a definite structure the main structure of a sentence is subject verb object mainly the structure of the sentence is subject verb object again we make sentences based on tense because we cannot make any sentence without tense or we cannot say any sentence without tense so we should also know what is tense the time of action is called tense what is tense the time of action the time of action the time of action 
Action is called tells the time of action or action time whenever we do any work. The particular time of that work is called tells. Can you tell how many kinds of tense? Yes, you are right. There are three kinds of tense. They are present tense. The works that is done in the present time is present tense. Past tense, the works that would do in the past time is called past tense. And the works that will be done in the future time is future tense. Again, every tense is divided into four parts. So they are indefinite, that college happens. Continuous that just happening, perfect that just ended, and perfect continuous that has started earlier and is still going on. They are perfect continuous tense. And by this way, every tense has a structure. You have to learn about tense and you have to know about the sentence structure and you have to learn tense and tense structure. And if you can learn the sentence and tense structure, then you will be able to make sentences very easily. Okay, dear students, now I'll give you some vocabs and you will try to make sentence following the vocabs so that you can understand the text easily. Okay, dear students, please write down some quick vocabs. Let's write down some quick vocabs. Laden. 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 Dear students, can you tell what is the meaning of the word laden? Laden means loaded. Loaded or filled up. Full. Full with. Full with. Laden means full with. Jump packed. Can anybody make a sentence with the word laden? Yes. The boats. Of the rivers, the boats of the villagers was laden with different types of fresh fruits and vegetables. So, make another word: chit chat, chit chat. Chit chat. Can you tell what is the meaning of the word chit chat? Chit chat means light talking. Light talking, a small talking, slow talking, talking in local language. This is called chit chat. The buyers and the sellers are busy in chit chat. That means they are expressing, changing their views and opinion in a small language. Then Write another word, native. Question, can you tell what is the meaning of the word native? Native means local, regional. Regional. That means people are things of a particular area, particular places, or a particular area. We live in Khulna city. It is situated in South West part of Bangladesh. This is a region full with natural resources and beauty. Okay, dear students, now I'll show you a picture. Dear students, can you see a picture? How do you see the picture? <coughs> yes, you are right. In the picture, you see that this is a river, and in the river, there are some boats and both sides there are some people and these boats are carrying some fruits and vegetables and other things and they are displaying their things and selling the things so you can tell this is a river market or a floating market or this is our today's topics the thokha floating market this is thokha floating market so can you guess what this could be yes this could be a hut or a bazaar. Where do you think this place is? Yes, I think this place is in Thailand. This place is not our Sharukati. This place is in Thailand. Okay, read the text and answer the question. So now we'll read the text and we'll answer some questions after reading the text. 
it was sunday what was the day the time was sunday mita jara juma islam and majharul islam oka very early so we have a question when does they get up when did they get up they got up early in the morning they quickly got ready and started for the floating market why they were busy why they were busy they were busy taking preparation to go to the thokha floating market they plan to have breakfast at the market it is their wish that they will not take their breakfast from the restaurant from their hotel rather they will take a local food they will go to thokha thakha floating market and they will take their breakfast from the fresh fruits and vegetables and sweets of that thakha floating market they reach the market place sharp at 7 and very surprisingly within 7 o'clock so within 7 am they have reached the center of the market the canals were surrounded with coconut palm trees and this place is a local place village people countryside rustic settings and it was covered with big palm trees and coconut trees so there were many coconut trees and palm trees around the places the hired a boat why they hired a boat to go to the market place to go to the river market to buy their necessary things to choose the necessary things and for traveling and visiting they hired a boat the boatman started to row slowly so the boatman started to ply the boat slowly and then eventually going towards the market the boatman started to ply his boat slowly to the corner to the center of the market to reach to the main place of the market there were boats everywhere and going there they saw they saw that there are boats everywhere around them the sellers are mainly elderly thai women so we have a question who were the sellers the sellers were mainly the elderly thai women so in our country we also see some women are selling their products in the market especially those who produce uh, things produce a vegetables or fruits of their own so sometimes in the hard day bazaar day the local women who are the producer who are the farmer they try to show to display their things and come to sell in the market there are boats everywhere there are boats everywhere the sellers are mainly elderly thai women there are small boats were laden with bundles of lotus flowers so what are the things in their boat what are the things in their boat what the things they want to sell and how the people buy from them there are small boats were full with bundles of lotus flowers in our country in tarokhada gopalganj puripur there are big marshy lands fields hills full with water lily shapla our national flower and it is a very tasty vegetables to see green the people of that area every day collect some uh, water lily shapla and cook with hilsha and this is very tasty with hilsha so also the people of thailand likes to eat lotus vegetables so in the boat they were selling and displaying bundles of lotus farm fresh coconut and they have just uh, plucked down the uh, green coconuts from their farms different kinds of vegetables local foods and delicious sweets so also they were giving different kinds of vegetables and delicious sweets our sweets are very famous especially সন্দেশ রসগোল্লা কালো জাম চমচম এন্ড ডিফারেন্ট কাইটস অফ মিল্কি সুইটস অফ কুমিল্লা হুইস ইজ ভেরি পপুলার অল ওভার দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড এন্ড অলসো দ্য চমচম অফ গাজপুর পোড়াবাড়ি টাঙ্গাইল 
and the Shandesh of uh, Rashahi, Cats of Bogura, are all delicious sweets. So also, there are some traditional sweets. The sellers and buyers rowed their boat slowly. And they were not rowing fast, they are rowing slowly because they just want to reach to others' boats uh, flying slowly. The sellers displayed different goods. What the sellers show? The sellers show their farm uh, produced goods for sale. And the buyers choose their pick. And those who have gone to buy their necessary things, they have chosen them from the boats and picking them in their boats. They could have a little chat as buying and selling was going on. And by the time when they were buying and selling their products, they were talking with each other. So, dear students, you must have got a good idea, thorough idea. So, now, read the text again for two or three minutes silently and try to understand the meaning of the sentences and try to understand the theme, the main theme of the classes. And I want to give you a brief idea about our today's topic. So today our topic is the Thok floating market. It is a floating market situated in a rural area in Thailand. And our guests, Mr. Majharul Islam, Mr. Juma Islam, their daughter Jara and Jara's Kachin Mita, they have gone to visit Thailand and now today's morning they have decided to visit the Thaukha floating market and they will take their breakfast there. Getting up early in the morning within 7, they have reached the market, they hired a boat and the boatman applied slowly to reach to the center of the market and going there they are very happy seeing the native elderly women selling their farm fresh lotus bundles of lotus different types of vegetables farm fresh coconut palm and different kinds of delicious sweets of their local food that the people takes their breakfast from these things also and they're very excited going to the market so now we have a question and i wish you all are ready to answer the question dear students are you ready to answer the question so let's try to answer some questions actually the main aims and objectives, the main and objectives of our class is to increase your ideas about your text and give you chance to think about the matter and take your preparation for your examination and to develop your comprehensive idea, to develop your sensible idea so that understanding a text you can give the answer of some questions so number one what kind of market what kind of market was it what kind of market was it can anybody tell their students can anybody tell what kind of market was it yes it it is a it is a floating it is a floating market. So what kind of market was it? It is a floating market or it was, it was a floating market. There is friends. That means the market is floating on the market. It is kind of floating market. Why did the boatman row slowly? Why did the boatman row slowly? So, Elishman, can you give the answer? Why did the boatman row slowly? Yes, you are right. The boatman uh, row slowly to reach the center of the market. Why did the boatman uh, row slowly? The boatman row
the boatman rows slowly to reach the center of the market so that they can go to the main point of the market. So next question: Who are selling goods? Who are selling goods? Dear students, can you tell who are selling goods? The elderly. Hi. Who are selling goods? The elderly, hi, woman. Oh, Who are selling goods? The elderly, hi, woman. Oh, Who are selling goods? So, who are selling goods? The elderly, hi, woman. Oh, Who are selling their goods? How were they selling their goods? How were they selling their goods? They were selling their goods by showing, by displaying things. How were they selling their goods? They were selling their goods by displaying. Selling their goods, they were selling their goods. Tourists and visitors. They are selling their products by showing a display to the tourists and visitors. Okay, dear students, now we have another question. We have another question. What was the atmosphere at the market? What was the atmosphere at the market? The atmosphere hot were the selling. Hot were the selling. This is a big question. Dear students, you know what were the selling? They were selling bundles of lotus, fresh farm fresh coconuts, different types of fruits, vegetables and delicious sweets that is produced in their house and in their farms. So what was the atmosphere at the market? The atmosphere of the market A little bit noisy because whenever we go to market, you always see that some people are talking with each other, they are buying and selling, so they are bargaining, and all these things create noise. So, we have another part read more about the river and Mitha's experience. Read more about the Thakha river and Mitha's experience. So, actually, the market was situated in the Thakha river. The Thakha flooding market is more traditional with a few tourists visiting the other floating markets. So some people come here to visit these floating markets. Originally the Thakha floating market used to sit only 6 or 7 days a month. So how many days the market sits? Only 6 or 7 days. Depending on the phase of the moon and mainly they are depend on the <coughs> moon's rising. Nowadays the trade takes place on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays too. So, what are the main days the market takes place? The market mainly takes place first three days of the month of the week 
uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The main buyers here are the Thokha natives. So who are the buyers? The buyers are the local Thokha people. People seem to know each other very well. And uh, everybody know each other. Everyone was selling, smiling, and calling each other by name. How could you know that they are the local people? Because they know each other. They were calling each other by name and they are showing their smiling. The locals did not notice Mita and others much and they were not very much cautious about the tourists because they were busy of their own. They were all busy buying and selling and actually the sellers were busy for buying and selling. So we have a little uh, task here and that is true false answer, true false answer. So dear students, uh, are you ready? Please try to give true false answer. If the answer is true, you will write down true. The Thokha flooding market is a tourist place. Are you agree or disagree? Yes, the Thokha flooding market is a tourist place. So the answer is true. It sits only six or seven days a month. So how many days it sits in a month? It sits only six or seven days a month. So this is also true. The question number A is true. The question number on is true. The question number two is also true. The question number three is true. And the question number four is true. So, please write the answer. The Thorco Bolloding Market is a tourist place. It is true. Then, the, it sits only six or seven days a month. This is also true. Number three, the buyers and the sellers are the local people living near the Thokha River. Restaurants, how do you think? The buyers and sellers are mainly from the foreign countries. Actually, no. The buyers and sellers of Thokha floating market are the native local people. So, this answer is also true. Now, they all knew each other. How could you know that they all knew each other? Because they are calling each other by names. They are calling them by their names. So you can understand that they are also local people. This is also true. So we have got all the true answers. Now read the text further and write answers to the following questions. And again, you have some chance to answer some question. Okay, the students, please try to attention. After giving the answer, I'll complete the class. Why is Thokha floating market traditional? Because the Thokha market is traditional because it created appeal to the you think people at the floating market know each other so well. How could you know that they know each other so well? We could understand, we could know that they know each other very well as the local people because of their becoming natives. Because they all are the local people who knows each other, who lives very close to each other, who smiles and shout each other and call them by names. So following all these things, we could understand and realize that they are known to each other. Okay, dear students, thank you very much. I wish that you have got much ideas about the text, about the thought of loading market, about Unit 6, the... Uh, going to a foreign trip, uh, Mr. Majarul Islam, Juma Islam, Jara and Mita have got much pleasure visiting different places and we have also got experience in the airport, in the plane, uh, in uh, the hotel restaurants and finally in the talk of loading market. And uh, reading the uh, text, you are very much happy and glad that you have got some new ideas. And also you have got some food for thought. You got some chance to fill up the grids, to give some true for answer, to answer some questions and to have a good idea about the text. And uh, most importantly, you have collected some new vocabs from here. And you will also focus on some language, how the sentences are constructed. And finally, if you follow my classes for the last week, and if you revise twice or thrice in your house, and if you repeatedly hear this lecture, my online lecture again and again, I wish you'll develop all your four language skills. Because hearing from my lecture, you are learning 
how to present your speech so your speaking is practicing your listening is practicing and you are reading the text so your reading is also practicing sometimes you read deeply intensively sometimes you will read lightly extensively and most importantly you will write down the answers of your script and that will develop your writing skills and following all these four skills in future inshallah eventually you will be expert smart efficient and skilled in english and we want to produce efficient and skilled manpower who will serve the nation who will serve on our behalf across the world so i wish you all very very good luck thank you thank you very very much allah bless assalamu alaikum see you in the next class